Welcome to Anchor Network, where you get updates of things happening around you and things you would like to know. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to this channel and those who are here to subscribe. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click the red button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. This time around, we have wonderful news for you that you'll be glad that you are aware of. Stay tuned. Former Aviation Minister. Femi Fanekayode has raised alarm over comments credited to the Southeast leader of the Meeti Alaka Two Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magban, Alaji, Gidado, Sidiki, threatening to take Igbo land by force if the region is not given up peacefully for cattle grazing. Fanekayode quoted Alaji Sidiki of admitting that southern grass was sweeter for their cows than northern grass and would employ force if need be. To ensure they keep grazing in the south. FFK allayed caution to the southern region to be on high alert in a series of posts he made on social networking site Twitter. Southern grass is sweeter for our cows than northern grass since the Igbo are claiming to be stubborn and they refuse to give us their land in peace it will be taken by force. The entire southeast will be raided and taken over by Esme. Southeast will boy any moment from now. It is an insult that the Igbo do not value anything that has to do with cow, only their business and money, and yes, they eat cow meat. Sidika Gidado Mietihala, may God save and deliver the South from these bloodthirsty barbarians and savage terrorists. Meanwhile, in Abia State, Chairman of the Mietihala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magban Azan Buba, the Abia State is lobbying for land for grazing activities by the association members. He has reached out to the governor of the state, Dr. Okeze Ikbiazo, through an interview with reporters in Umahia, the state capital, on Tuesday and asked that the Ikbiazo led administration should consider giving them some plots of land so that they can carry out their grazing peacefully without going into people's farm. The S Men leader, who spoke through the secretary of the group, Aboba Kabuba, held the existing peace between them and people of the state. He pleaded for an error to be given to the SME to do their business so as to curtail cases of ESA, EDAS and farmer clashes. Buba said, apart from the request for some parcel of land, we will also need government assistance in the purchase of medicine and feed for their cattle so that they won't have any reason in entering people's farmland for the search for feed. We are also soliciting support to the governor, promising to maintain the peace between the state, its citizens, and others in Abia. I'm sure we have a uh, different factions of this Mieti uh, Hala or cattle breeders, as we may have them, and some of them blow hot in some parts. Some of them, you know, blow cool in in one corner. I think the ones that are making arrogant statements, they are the one who are the top. And they feel that, irrespective of what they say, nothing will happen. Because this is not the first time they've been making such statements, threatening the sovereignty of the country. Because you can't tell people, you can't force people to get their land from them. We have uh, Igbos doing their businesses in the north. They've not caused problem. They are not detrimental to the society they are. We have the Yorubas in Portacourt doing their own business and peacefully. We have a uh, Igbos in Lagos. Everybody is peaceful with their business, and nobody is infringing on others' privacy or businesses or causing mayhem to their lives. And I see no reason why it is this same Mieti Hala, these cattle breeders, causing havoc all over the place. From the reports we've gathered, they've entered southwest and causing mayhem, kidnapping people, asking them to pay for ransom. There was one video I saw online when a man was negotiating with a, all these uh, cattle rearers. They kidnapped the, the man's brother and they wanted them to bring money. It's online. If you go and check it, it's, you know, it's been going around. So this thing is really is becoming something else. And they are so arrogant. They are so proud 
they will tell you they want to enter anywhere. So if you want to do business in somebody else's land, it's not by force. And you will have to maintain peace and order, just like the ones that we have in uh, Abia, you know, trying to solicit with the government, with the state governor, that this is what we want. And they are promising to maintain peace and order. If you are making this uh, inflammatory statement that can cause problem, why is it that the government cannot caution these people? Why is it that they are just growing every day, day by day? They are just growing day by day and nobody seems to clamp them down. How can you be threatening people to give you their land by force that your grass are not sweet, their grass is sweeter than yours? Why? Even if you want to go there, you know, it has to, it has to be in a peaceful manner. And this is the top of the problems we have in this country. This farmer and elders clash. People can no longer go to farm. People are just going to farm, you know, out of fear. So government needs to come out and do something. And we thank God for some of the people who have been echoing and repeating what these Nieti Hala people have been saying. Repeating their threats, letting people know their threats. Because if somebody like Fadenka Yode is not speaking up, everybody will just take it like, okay, one of those statements. But the statement is so weighty that if nothing is being done, if people don't talk about it, it will escalate. We know it has first start into many areas, but if we continue to keep quiet, thinking that the government is doing its job or doing what it's supposed to do, and we just keep quiet, we will see that this thing will overwhelm us. These days, the whole thing is so scary that there is no day that one wakes up that you don't hear about killing, killing in one way or the other. And there's no day that these cattle rearers or headers, that they don't strike in every corner, every area in the country, they always go around, moving from one place to another, causing mayhem, killing people, raping people. What they are doing now is to kidnap people and ask for ransom. Boko Haram, they are doing their own at the corner. Bandits are all over the place. The earlier the government comes up with something, the better for us, because people cannot just be dying. Everybody is afraid. There is fear, there is tension all over the place. Like I said, they've entered Southwest. If nothing is being done, it's going to escalate the whole country fully. Like we said, we know that they are in all areas, you know, pockets of them. But if they are not being nipped on board, if they are not being clamped down, it's going to fester seriously that it won't cause what we don't even expect. Like the president has promised that uh, he's going to protect people. He's going to make sure that the security is on point. But he made reference to people in Abuja that he has to protect them because if he does not protect the environment, of course, they will be involved. They will be affected in one way or the other. So we are pleading to the government. We are pleading to them. If there's any relationship they have with this uh, Mieti Hala or Kato Reras, let them caution their people. Let them tell them to stop this thing. Or better still, let them be arrested. Because, because they have not been arrested, that is why you see them gaining strength day by day and people have been so quiet people have been so you know lenient by not re retaliating because if people start retaliating it's going to be chaos in the whole country and they should not take all of this for granted governments please come out and rescue people please caution your people caution these guys caution them arrest them not even cautioning them arrest them let them be brought to book we can't just be pampering them they will be making statements. This is not the first time. This is not the second time. It's been over and over again. And people are just quiet. They don't want to take laws into their hands. But they are killing their people day by day. Women and children are most vulnerable in this situation. And they can't help themselves. Even they've been killing a lot of men. Once they kill a man in the house, you know, what is left? What can the woman do? What can the children do? People cannot just be making inflammatory statements and government is not cautioning them. I could remember some statements Fanny Kayode made and uh, Yinka Odumaki. Before you knew it, they called them for questioning. I hope this Mieti Allah group that made this statement, I hope they are going to reverse their statement that they didn't say it. Because one time like that, they said it was not a, they didn't, that it was one of their chairman or it was one of their leader in one section that made that statement their overall leader 
came out and debunked it. After debunking it, you see these people striking again. You see them striking again. Everybody is living in fear. And they should not take the simplicity of other people for granted. We are begging the government to come out and nip these people on board. If there's anything you want to add to what you have said, I would like you to put your comments down below. And please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.